Hi, I'm Kari from French General and I am a Sizzix designer. So I grew up um, in Southern California, right near here in a town called Palos Verdes, uh, in a very, quite large family, lots of brothers and sisters, and um, a very creative mom and dad. And they were happy to kind of let us all explore our own craft and creativity, which we did. Um, I can remember, you know, at dinner parties going up and, you know, taking down um, curtain rings and painting them and you know making everybody at the party wear a pair of my painted earrings. And I somehow fell into collecting and crafting. So I started my love affair with France when I had a French roommate in college. And she was so chic and just so elegant and I thought, I gotta get to France. So I started going to France to visit Dominique when I was in late teens, 1920, and just loved Paris, fell in love with Paris, and then ended up marrying somebody from San Sebastian, which is in the northern part of Spain and about 10 minutes from the French border. So while they were all lying on the beach, you know, soaking up the sun, I decided I'm not long for this. You know, I'll just get burned if I stay too long in San Sebastian. So I would jump in the car and explore the southern part of France and that's how I found this area that I've been going to now for the past 15, 18 years. Learning the traditions and the cultures of these small little villages and finding finding farmers markets that have been around for seven, eight, nine hundred years and they're run exactly the same way. You know, the the rabbits are there, you know, the ducks, you know, all the animals are there at the farmer's market. And it's something we would never see here, but it's a peasant market. And I think for me, having that history around me just kind of, it, it gives me a sense of place. And it's something that I draw a lot of inspiration from, but I definitely am in love with the people and the culture and the land and the food and the wine and everything that goes with, you know, going to France. It's just one of my happy places, I guess. So we've had French General now for 18 years. I started it when my daughter Sophia was born. I started it as a way to stay home. So it began out in a barn in our backyard. This great old building that we're in now is an old Spanish warehouse built in the 20s. We've been told it was an old bar and we found it as we were racing down Riverside Drive to my dad's birthday. Quite a few people were looking at it and interested in it because it is a great old building, and it turned out that the owner uh, was an old friend of my dad's. They'd been skiing in Aspen together for many years, so once we figured out our connection to each other, we knew that we were meant to be here, and we think it's perfect. We're not on a walking street, but we know that we're much more word of mouth and people know about us. They come take workshops here, they come for our fabric, for our books, for our craft classes. That's okay with us. We kind of like being off the beaten path a little bit. Different types of business here, but it, it all falls under the French general name. It's about a general store. Because I often get like, oh, Napoleon? Yeah. You know, is, is it about the general? I'm like, no, it had nothing to do with Napoleon. One of the things many people don't realize is that this is actually not what my house looks like. Um, I do have a lot of collections at home, but my, my passion are Navajo rugs. And so I have them covering every inch of my hardwood floors. And that's my color, that's my pattern, and that's kind of really my collection, and it's all on the floor. One of the things I get asked a lot is whether or not I speak French. And my answer is I speak flea market French because I can go to the flea markets and I can barter with the best of them and speak to the vendors. But um, I, I can understand French, so it, I get around quite easily in France. But uh, no, I don't speak French. Favorite music? Well, I'm a diehard Johnny Cash fan, so that's all I need to play and that makes me happy. And um, I think many people think my favorite color is red. And it's actually not. My favorite color is navy blue. So although I love the color red and I think it makes a great statement for French General, um, my favorite color is indigo. You know, when we were developing French General, I was actually going through a cancer diagnosis. And so when my husband brought home the logo and said, here's the French General logo, you know, what color? I was like, 
can't make decisions like this, but the natural color for me was red. And so I think the business was started out of passion. It was started with a love of textiles and collections and you know all the little bits and pieces that we all love to have around us. And then it kind of grew into the craft world. So when I was introduced to Sizzix, um, I wasn't just introduced with paper, and luckily, because had I only been introduced with paper, it might not have given me everything I needed. I was introduced with Sizzix with our fabric, you know, cutting through the six layers of quilting fabric. I was introduced with box making and different kind of, you know, storage containers. I was introduced with metal, with leather. So I actually, the first time people came up here and rolled out the dies for me, I was just blown away because I realized that it wasn't just card making, which is what I had thought it was. I had thought it was paper cutting. So now that I see that I can cut leather out and fabric and metal and you know nice heavy card stock, I've really been able to explore it a little bit further and you know, pull it into different areas of, of French general. So I think for us, Sizzix is a really good, um, really good fit because we are into so many different areas of the craft world. And Sizzix also is exploring all different areas of the craft and lifestyle world. I like being alone more than anything. I mean, I am, I wouldn't say I'm a loner because I'm extremely social, but when I'm alone sewing or crafting, that is probably one of my favorite times. So I definitely give myself the gift of time and I'm thankful for that every day. And I, and I'm, I also, and I'm sure people appreciate this and know this, but I think when you work with things you love and you get to you know, actually be, surround yourself with your collections, you, you know, there's not a bad day. There's just not a bad day because it's, it's always something fun and always something creative, which really kind of keeps me going day, day after day.